Hello, the Coastal and Heartland National Estuary Partnership is proud to share this video update of our work to protect Florida's water and wildlife in Congressman Soto's district. First, we wanna thank you for your support of the National Estuary Program. Your support has helped to fund critical restoration and protection of Florida's estuaries of national significance, including Tampa Bay, Sarasota Bay, Indian River Lagoon, Charlotte Harbor, Clusahatchee Estuary, Estero Bay, and more. The Coastal and Heartland National Estuary Partnership encompasses more than 5,000 square miles outlined here and includes multiple estuaries in their watersheds from Donna and Roberts Bay in Sarasota County to Estero Bay in Lee County in Southwest Florida. It also includes the rivers of the Mayaca, Peace, Clusahatchee, and Estero, and inland and coastal communities spanning 10 counties and 25 plus cities. First, we're aiding your efforts to protect water quality. And the CHNP program area covers your district, so we are working to further your goals in protecting these water resources. The CHNP exemplifies the power of partnership. It is a public private partnership that is science and consensus based, non regulatory, and citizen supported. Because of private contributions, volunteers, and donated in kind services, we've been able to provide $19 worth of restoration for every federal dollar of funding we receive. We work to implement the Comprehensive Conservation Management Plan, the five-year strategic plan collectively drafted by all the CHNP partners. And it has four priority action areas, water quality improvement, hydrological restoration, fish, wildlife, and habitat protection, and public engagement. We're also aiding your efforts to protect estuaries, and we appreciate your sponsorship of the recent South Florida Clean Coastal Waters Act of 2021. The CHAP supports comprehensive and coordinated water quality monitoring and projects and programs that reduce pollutants entering our waterways. One such project is the Coastal Charlotte Harbor Monitoring Network, which is a regional partnership of agencies managed under the CHAP and funded in part by us that collects monthly water quality data using consistent, technically sound sampling design across our region. We also fund the CHNP Water Atlas, which takes all of this data together with all other publicly accessible data and puts it on one public website for natural resource managers, policymakers, and the public to access to understand local water quality conditions. We recently funded the Caloosahatchee Citizen Seagrass Gardening Project, which with volunteers replanted seagrasses in the tidal Caloosahatchee where they had been lost. And as a result of this project, we documented the first case of reproduction of seagrass in this portion of the river in over a decade. We also are currently about to launch the Clusahatchee Cyanobacteria Rapid Response Pilot Program. Unfortunately, cyanobacteria blooms continue to plague the Clusahatchee River. And we're looking at innovative technologies that are going to absorb those nutrient pollutants as well as toxins to reduce their impact to human health and the environment. The CHNP also recently hosted the first C43 Water Quality Feasibility Study Meeting to convene experts in the public on how to add water quality treatment to this comprehensive Everglades restoration plan project. We also are currently managing and funding the Shola Harbor Flatwoods Hydrological Restoration Initiative with the first Restore Act NERDA grant for Southwest Florida. The Shola Harbor Flatwoods Hydrologic Restoration Initiative is a data collection and modeling effort to create a hydrological restoration plan for over 80,000 acres of land in Charlotte and Lee counties. We also have a similar hydrological restoration project underway that we are funding and managing in South Lee County. And we recently completed the habitat restoration needs plan, which gathered all existing habitat plans and put them together with cutting edge climate science looking at habitat migration in response to sea level rise to create one master habitat restoration needs plan for the region. Here for the Peace River Basin, you can see the preservation conservation opportunities on private lands to the left, in addition to the management enhancement and restoration targets on the right on public lands and how those fit together to create landscape level habitat areas and corridors needed to protect endangered species and our native wildlife. We also recently finalized the economic valuation study, which takes all existing economic data in the region and teases out only that directly tied to natural resources to determine the value of natural resources in terms of economic revenue. 
the economists concluded that natural resources in the CHNEP area generate 13.6 billion in total economic output annually, 3.8 billion in regional income, 146 million in local and state tax revenue, and they support over 148,000 jobs. This study also looked at individual projects, including the Everglades Restoration C43 Reservoir Project. And the economists concluded that the net benefits of this project would be $103 million, which represents $1.18 of benefits for every dollar spent. The report is available on the CHNP website. Finally, we'd like to ask for your support to fully fund the National Estuary Program at the authorized level at least 1 million per National Estuary Program organization, and to fully fund the National Estuary Program Competitive Grant Program at 7.5 million. We'd also ask that you consider joining the Congressional Estuary Caucus to promote the restoration and water quality issues in our region. And we'd like to invite you to the 2021 Southwest Florida Climate Summit that the CHNEP is hosting on May 6th. You can find registration information on our website. Thank you again for your support of the National Estuary Program and the Coastal and Heartland National Estuary Partnership. For more information, please feel free to go to our website, chnep.org, or to contact me directly, Jennifer Hacker, Executive Director at the CHNEP. Thank you so much.